Dole Vine from Building and Blogging. I'm gonna show you how to make a hockey stick putter. Right, so to make the hockey stick putter, it's pretty easy. I broke it down in just a few categories that makes it pretty simple to make it. Everybody loves this thing. I pretty noticeable when it sticks out of your bag. Everyone seen the movie knows what it is and want to take pictures with it and test it out. So it's a pretty cool project here to make. And if you don't want to make one yourself, you can always get it at my store. All right, I'll show you how to make it here. The first step is just kind of visualizing, taking this would, I cut this off already, but taking your putter and line it up because this is at an angle and this is at an angle so using this you're going to be bending over with your hand halfway down so you can see the angle i have it here it's about 67. you can make this however you want by putting your bolts on so just kind of doing a quick visualization of where you want to cut because you always want to you know measure twice cut once so this is pretty much measuring you can make a template, there's a lot of ways to do this, but I would just uh, kind of see where you want to make your cut ahead of time and then you can do that on the next step. So the next step, you're going to want to cut off the putter head. You can use a vise or just hold it down and then just use the saw and cut down. You make sure you have fine tooth blade to cut the metal or a metal cutting blade. That'll make it a lot easier for you. Just cut this off all the way down here until you cut the putter head off and then move on to your next step. Next step is you're going to want to cut off the blade of your mini hockey stick. I just made a straight cut down where you could see that blade would be coming up. And then all I did was take the saw and cut all the way down. When making cuts, always make sure to sand everything off, you know, pretty common stuff. But yeah, you just want to make sure it's all good for before you paint it. The next step is drilling. So you're going to be drilling four holes total, that's it. But you're drilling through metal and then deciding what you use for your blade. Could be plastic, so that could be easier to drill through. So you're going to make two drill holes on here. This is metal, so... It might take a while, but get the right bit, and you're gonna wanna have the right bit for the size bolt that you fit through here. So keep that in mind for the following step. So when you attach the blade to this, you have the right uh, bolt and nut for the hole that you drill here. You don't wanna be too big or too small, so you don't go through the edges of the putter head here. So it's only gonna be four drills, but make sure you line it up correctly where you drill on both, as you can see. I made a mismark drill, so I might patch that up, but I made a template out of this now, so I know in the future, so that's why it's always good to make templates. So now you're going to want to drill. Just take your drill and then put it in the vise again, hold it down and mark your holes on both and drill away. You drill out the holes on here and on here and then I got these bolts here that I just attached them with nuts on the other side. Pretty straightforward. Just make sure you get the correct, correct width, length, and all that. That's why, you know, you kind of always want to plan ahead for when you're drilling the holes so you know which bolts you already have and you want to do it all at once. I got them at everything in the description, but all you do is slip them through and then attach your bolts. Again, I break this all down on my blog at buildingandblogging.com, but just uh, another step here you, before painting, you want to tape this off. I'm not sanding this. A lot of stuff you, you know you want to sand, but this I'm just going to spray a primer, and then always with painting, you want to spray primer, make sure it's good, spray on your paint, and then always add a clear coat to help it from keeping it getting scratched and anything like that. So... Um, I'm not going to go into that because it's pretty much just painting it. I hang it from the ceiling and then I tie string around this so then it hangs so then nothing's touching and I don't have to like move it or anything. So that's just a little tip for you there on painting. So to make it authentic, just add the black patch there. I just use Velcro. 
I put it on this side because I'm left-handed. You can put it on that side if you're right-handed or both. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe right here if you haven't before. And for the whole description, check out the blog. And until next time, don't stop till the door is locked.